J-Drone here. What's going on, guys? Parrot Sky Controller 2 battery. Uh, this is a LiPo. It is a two-cell LiPo. No matter what you do, you can't charge off of that. I've tried multiple things. I'm going to show you how you can charge this battery off of your hobby grade charger. So the first thing we need to do is understand what we got going on in here. Clearly, the reds are positive. This over here with nothing on it, if you combine those two, that'll give you your full battery readout. If you take your positive and one of these solder points up here that will give you a readout for cell one. If you then take your negative down here and your positive up here, that will give you for your cell two. So we're gonna run, uh, we're gonna run a balance lead off of this, and then we're gonna run a positive negative off of that. That way we can use it on a charger. And all we are going to do, we are going to tap into the positive, and then we are going to tap into here, and then we are going to tap into here. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on. Um, we've wired to the positive. I've used all the same colored wires. The ends will be different by the time we're done with this. But we've wired to the positive. We've wired to the negative. That had nothing on it. And we've bridged up here because both of them were given the same reading. So I think they're all on one of the boards, so it wouldn't hurt to bridge it. So now we're going to run positive. This will be the middle wire, and that'll be the negative to the balance connector. We are almost done. That's the way I left you guys. Uh, and just to recap, we wired positive, we wired a negative, and that is a bridged area where if you measure positive and negative up there, you'll get cell one. If you measure this with a positive and negative down there, you'll get cell two. If you measure positive and negative, that'll give you your total battery voltage. But we ran the wires down. We have them connected. I have a JST connection here, which is going to just plug into this JST female connection right there into the B6. We have a balance connection. We'll plug into the side of the B6 or on a board. And we have this white connector there, which will connect to this wire which is our bridge connection the only thing that I would change on this was instead of bridging it off to the right somehow bridged it and had the wire come down the center that way I didn't have to cross over this wire and also not cross this wire over top of that lead but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run a small piece of electrical tape over top of this cross it over once I have those wires spliced and get this all back together as you can see there I have the balance lead plugged directly into there I could plug the JST in there but we're not gonna do that I did test it, it does work but that that's what the stock charger was doing. It essentially was charging one of the batteries, one of the cells, and the other one was really, really lacking. So this way I'm going to be able to balance this. Um, we're going to get this all taped up. We'll show you final, uh, final look at it. Final product, guys. I could put the screw in. This will close nicely. I didn't measure anything. This kind of lucked out how I had this all, that it actually fits in well. We're not using the foam anymore fits in well. Um, I'm going to be able to balance charges, no more blinky on the charger, and no more worrying about my drone falling out of the sky because I have an incorrect reading or only one cell working. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like this video. And if anybody has any questions, comments, concerns down below, get at me.